Hello guys, so <clears throat> I have here some uh, rovers, HP rovers, that I um, need to make, I need to turn them into a super tire. And this is for me the first time that I'm building super tires, but you know, how hard can it be? Like, as you can see here, I already built one. So this tire is already made, it's the first one I've made ever. And yeah, so far quite happy with it. Looks to be quite sturdy and it does not have those wrinkles that sometimes super tires, they have some wrinkles, which I hate. Um, but it's normal because what we are doing is we're trying to stretch a tire more than it was designed, the carcass was designed for. So those wrinkles are a bit normal and uh, I'll tell you how I try to avoid them. So, um, well, first of all, let's talk about glues. It's not my first, the fir it's the first super tire, but not the first tire that I've cut and glued. And I've always used IC2000, the BSI glue. This has some rubber compound on it and it takes a little bit to, to set, <clears throat> but it's not so, so difficult. You just need to take your time. And I've had this, this uh, glue, this specific one for um, some years and it, I always store it in the fridge and it was still okay. Um, and I still have plenty. I opened this to see how more or less the level. But the issue is, as you can see from here, is that I cannot open it. It's it's glued together, and I don't have proper pliers to uh, force it open because I'm not at home. So um, I wanted to try. So this is what I've been using, and I, I was quite happy with it so far. Having said that, my last uh, the mini tires that I did. They were not, uh, they are, uh, the surfaces, the mating surface are not so perfect and, uh, well, they, they are um, ungluing themselves. So if I need to do some retouches from time to time, but I think that has nothing to do with the glue and actually is the tire because it's always the same size side of the tire that is ungluing because I have two different tires for that one. One for the sidewalls and the other one for the the treads. So I think that is more related with the, the rubber itself than the glue. But having said that, a lot of people talk about the AKA glue. So I bought some AKA premium tire glue. And so far I was hoping that it would be like super nice and very fast to set, but that wasn't the case. It's um, very, I mean, thinner than the BSI glue. So, I don't know, I, I have to get used to it. And also it leaves the tires uh, with this white uh, from the CA glue, which I don't like will eventually disappear, I know, but I just don't like the way it looks. And um, I was not used to it. And as you can see, I think you can see with this very bad light. But yeah, I made a bit of a mess here. Especially, I mean, this, this white stuff from the CA glue makes, makes it look way worse than it actually is. The bed itself is not so bad, but you know, I'm just not as happy as I was hoping I would be. It also looks look like it cracks more than the BSI, it, it's less pliable. Here I made a much better job and it's very thin and on this side also quite thin. So a bit of user error and trying to get used to a new a new glue so this one is done so to make a super tire out of rovers uh, where do you start well first I start by uh, uh, you need six six tires so one and a half here this this will be two sets of tires 
and one and a half is already here and here's the other one and a half ready to start gluing um, as you can see this one doesn't have the side walls shaved and this one does but eventually I will shave these ones and they will be the same I will probably try this all these three three tires they are uh, unshaved I will maybe try to run one uh, set or two tires shaved two tires uh, not shaved to try and, and see um, so first I wash them with some soap and some uh, um, warm water wash them really really well and then I start cutting for the cut this you need like I said one and a half tires so I think I can maybe see you see there is a, a line there let's try and get closer yeah you see this line running around here so it's in the middle of this and then on the other side it is here so on the middle of this basically is cut right in half and you know it, it just took me a little bit I just took my time and then I'm trying to do this slowly not rushing and remember when I told you that the tire carcass so this is one full tire it's already prepared to glue this is the tire when that when you stretch the tire it doesn't it doesn't want to stretch and this one I already cut this part here if I hadn't do that it would be even worse so when you stretch it wants to start wrinkling you know and the more material that you have here the worse it gets I mean it's 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 normal so on these tires the let's call it measurement or reference point that I have is cutting these inner ribs right down the edge so this is what I'm doing you see right down the edge and for what I did and this is for I have 15 millimeters uh, 150 millimeters wheels 15 centimeters um, they will fit nicely with no wrinkles so here there's a little bit but also you got to remember when you do this when you actually glue the tire to the wheel this will pop it up so from what I can see at least no major wrinkles and I'm stoked that's what one thing that I, I don't like and I wanted to avoid so yes uh, one and a half tires for the rovers you just cut here and on the other side of course cut in half one of the three tires so you cut it in half and then the other tire so this will have two halves Oops, like so and then the other tire you just cut on one side and glue it together for one very nice super tire why did I go to, with rovers well because I had them of course uh, if the tires are uh, bigger let's say that you are using some J concepts uh, the ruptures or whatever they are called they will be higher in diameter so maybe you will not use one and a half you'll use one and one third and this you know I'm just uh, throwing out the number I don't know because I, I've never done them so you will probably end up using less tire which makes sense I suppose so yeah that's it that's what I'm, I'm trying to do um, cut as little as possible so yeah that's well you see a bit more slightest there you go 
So what I'm going to do is take this out. Again, sorry about the lighting and the filming and all that, but it is what it is. So we have to make sure that the arrows on the on these tires they point the right way. Okay. So this will go here. And then on the other side. This one will go there. The reference I, before I was going voodoo's and voodoo's to make them um, to make them less wide, to cut them in the center. It's really nice and easy to have a reference point because you just use the pins. And on this one, I'm using the middle of the carcass because we have this this line here. So I will line up. I'll start at the center and then go to the sides of it. And uh, basically there's nothing to it, you just put a little bit of glue, you hold it together, you um, wait that it sets, and continue. And you try to do that without gluing your fingers too much, you will always glue your fingers a little bit. And like this, and then you hold and you wait and you wait and you wait and continue so let's do that so first dab of glue there it goes now let's try not to mess this up because camera is rolling Okay, this this is okay. And now we wait. Hope you can see in the video what I'm doing. Normally I wait for all the that glue to set and actually put a bit too much glue but so basically ideally and I'm not the best example of that you should try and use glue that just stays on that mating surface so don't overdo it like I normally do